It's about to be a long day. After months of getting money together, waiting for my engine to get finished, I found a guy in Connecticut that has a supercharger that I want to buy. Yeah, you can shoot whatever you want. Um, so, uh, one last thing. So, I actually got to take the crank pulley off. So yeah. the, the bolt is out, but I didn't have the um, the puller tool. Mm -hmm. So I went to others and I got it, but I actually got to pull it off. So it'll probably take me like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's fine. This is the blower, this is the crossover pipe, and there's gaskets, so pay attention that you don't lose these gaskets. These gaskets fit right in here, obviously. Uh, this bolt's up here, and then there's a little bag of all the bolts. The intercooler bricks are inside here. Um, this is a drive filter. So the big gulp actually comes with the oil filter, but I had a regular rotofile before, and I had to dry, and I use a drive because it saves the drive, makes a little bit more power. I'm gonna try to go under the bar. When I took the motor apart, I don't. So we got, we got 73 duster parts, 75 duster parts, 383 stroker duster parts. We got Mopar manifolds in this truck right now, and a fucking whoopal ass supercharger. <laughs> this little ass Texas two wheel drive. Finally, after months and months and months of searching and waiting and ordering and canceling and so much bullshit that I had to go through. A couple nights ago, I'm like, you know what? Before I pull the trigger, buying or pre-ordering a Whipple or getting a Magnuson for like 10 grand or going through a whole bunch of shit. I'm like, let me just check Facebook Marketplace and see. Like maybe there's something in New York or Massachusetts. So I typed in Camaro Supercharger and I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I found it. A 2.9 liter Whipple that's on an SS and it has all the conversion shit that I need. Everything. Whole kit. So I fucking went out there as fast as I could. Met the guy cash ready. He said that he tracked his car a lot and the uh, Whipples tend to heat soak, so he's gonna end up going centrifugal, and that's why he was selling it. And I got a really good deal on it. Came with the uh, 103 millimeter Nick Williams throttle body, a Rotofab big gulp intake, a upgraded intercooler, SS conversion plates. I went ahead and ordered a Circle D torque converter as well, and a TCM unlock from Houston House of Power. So now I should legit have everything I need to get a thousand wheel horsepower in my 10 speed. I don't have to buy anything else. Like, this is it. Like, I'm just waiting now. I just owe the machine shop the little bit that is left, but that's really nothing in the grand scheme of what I spent so far. So um, I'm gonna continue to post videos with every update. The, I mean, the engine should almost be done at this point. I know I've been posting videos and they've been telling me that, but I don't know. They told me about the end of April, early beginning of May. So at this point, that's what it's looking like. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.